Hello YouTube, Turtle Lags here, bringing you another AFK Journey video. I'm excited to announce that we have some new news about Florabelle's kit. Florabelle will be released in two days, less than two days even, on the 16th. So very excited. We have the wonderful chat, Empty Kassen, Meow, Blargy, Ruiz, Doof Daddy, Zero, Legacy, McClown, or DC Clown, Everybody really excited to go over Florida Bill's kit together. And uh, yeah, let's do this. So she's going to be our Flora Bill unit, who some people in chat are already saying is going to be a ghoulie, going to be uh, potentially replacing tanks, which kind of excites me a little bit because I think it's always nice to have some flexibility with team building hate. Says uh, you're on YouTube right now. So let's go over Flora Bill's kit. I'm going to read everything, guys, everything. And I'll, of course, give my my opinions and we'll kind of do a little bit of theory crafting, you know. We're going to put our uh, chef hats on and, and cook a little bit. And you guys can chime in with what you guys think Flora Bill, you know, what kind of team you can put her in. But anyways, Florabelle the boom, Blooming Maiden. Uh, when it comes to Asperia's most amiable hero, there's only one answer, Florabelle. Despite her gentle appearance, she is a formidable fighter. Getting hit by the attack of her bulb sprites can really sting. Finally, a unit that can make Damien shine. I'm really looking forward to it. Let's take a look at today's hero to learn more about this charming and powerful new character. So this is... Florabelle, just a beautiful character. Wow, she's like, I love the pastel colors. Oh my god. The gentle teacher. Florabelle adores children and is deeply passionate about her role as a teacher at Jake Lake Academy. Her greatest wish is to ensure the carefree and joyful growth of the children at the, cat, the academy. She's a teacher. She gets along well with everyone and speaks to them in a calming manner. Even when faced with the most mischievous troublemakers, she remains incredibly patient and never gets angry, always finding the right way to nurture and encourage them. Read her kit, you will see why, Turtle. I'm looking forward to it, says uh, Dude, I love the artwork. I mean, she is definitely a seasonal character to the T. Spring is coming, we are in April, and... Uh, Earlier we had read the seasonal, that seasonal patch was going to come. Beautiful character. Love her. Art style is very unique. Whether children or adults, Florabelle excels at taking care of them. Whenever the relationship between her classmates and close friends, Laika and Parisa, hits a rough patch, it's always Florabelle who steps in and mends things and brings them back together. Isn't it almost summer, Monkas? I know, right? It's already been hot. Uh, little by little, you'll discover that beneath her gentle and kind exterior beats an unexpectedly strong heart. String is bad for allergy. I'm skipping her because of that, Monka. Monka. The origin of bulb sprites. Standing at 175 centimeters tall, Florabelle is always accompanied by three little companions, affectionately known as Sleepyhead, mischief maker and adorable can you tell which is which from the picture i would say sleepy heads this one mischief maker is probably this one and adorable is this one yeah oh they're adorable hello hello teddy you're on youtube we're going over floor bell's kit right now good to see you good to see you all right, so we got some just some art styles of the summons here. Under Florabelle's careful nurturing, each of these bulb sprites has grown happily. They often test Florabelle's patience, but Florabelle never gets angry. It is said that if Florabelle was ever to be angry, the little flower wheels on her heads will spin, though no one has ever seen it happen. We don't have a precise kit yet, right? We're about to find out. We're about to find out. Florabel the fighter. Okay. Florabel relies mainly on summoning her three bulb sprites to deal damage when she boosts her attacks. 
pounding blows. This is her ultimate skill. At the start of battle, Floribel summons a spear-wielding bulb sprite to assist her. When casting her ultimate, Floribel summons a mighty hammer-wielding bulb sprite, dealing high damage and knocking enemies within an area in, in the air. Okay, that's good. With powerful AoE attacks and control effects, we love control. Floribel is an excellent choice for your crowd control formations. Love to hear that. I don't want her just to just be a DPS. I want her to crowd control. Using kids to deal damage kind of sus, I know, right? Whatever it takes to win, guys. I'm, I'm all for it. That AoE size, yeah. Wow. Big AoE radius. I love the animation effects. I love the pastel colors. It makes me think of Sherbert ice cream for some reason. I love it. Ooh, maybe she's good with Aeron. Yeah, she's a wilder. Okay, Overgrowth, this is one of her skills. Feeds a snack to the Bulb Sprite with the highest attack. Enlarging it and granting it powerful buffs for a limited duration. Don't underestimate this skill. It can deal significant damage to enemies in many combat situations. Hmm, interesting. So to the Bulb Sprite with the highest attack. So I wonder if the Bulb Sprite varies in stats. Or maybe the Bulb Sprites are summoned randomly like Pikmin. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so, uh, so this is just mainly, what is it? Okay, granting them a powerful buff for more damage. Okay, so more damage basically. You could literally just make an all wilder team with uh, Aaron, Granny, Damien, Arden, Florbel, Parisa. True, true. It'll make clearing the wilder floor a lot easier. When did the overview come out? Um, probably, good question guys, when did it come out? Let me see when my, my um, oh, this morning. So about um, maybe 10 hours ago was when um, someone in my Discord uh, uh, basically, you know, shouted me out. Yeah. So very nice. Hey, Monica, good to see you. Then finally, another skill sharpshooter. Floribel summons a short bow bulb sprite. That's this one right here. If there is already a short bow bulb sprite on the battlefield, when this skill is cast, it will instead unleash a burst of arrows, hitting enemies with multiple shots in a short amount of time. This skill gives Floribel a decent ranged attack capability. Love to see it. I see Aaron, Thorin, Damien, Floribel, Arden as a very good team comp. Maybe Haywin if you need more survivability. Love it. Love the theory crafting, guys. All right, so Protective Blessing. Floribel's passive skill grants a permanent shield to allied summons. That's probably this. Oh, no, that's the enemy. Ooh, okay. She never hesitates to lend a hand to fellow summoners. I'm sure you already have someone in mind who would make a great teammate for, for Floribel. Yeah, I would just love an all-out Wilder for that five-team bonus. Yeah, is she physical or magic? It hasn't been mentioned yet. Ooh, we're at a conclusion already. Floribel, Blooming Maiden, a hero in AFK Journey, has both excellent damage output and a gentle, beautiful appearance. To learn more about this character story, download AFK Journey now and embark on a new journey as Magister Merlin. Okay, this will start at on April 16th, go to May 10th. Love summoner comps. Pretty sure magic kek win would be a waste if not. Yeah, so my initial thoughts of this is that she can summon three different people and it's still unclear to me how she summons. Do they appear all at once? Or does she... It seems like she summons one at a time. Well, at the start of battle summons and when casting the ultimate... Okay. Hammer. So the... Okay, so the hammer wielding, wielding bulb sprites from the ultimate. Start of battle, you get the spear wield, wielding one. And then... She has the ability to summon a short bow one. Okay, so different skills summon different summons. Spear at the beginning, skill for bowman, ult for the hammer. Got it, Legacy. Maybe it's random one and three. Yeah, I, I think it's what Legacy just described. Because tiny sharpshooter 
is the short bow and then at the start of battle that's the spear and then the ultimate is the hammer yeah so that's very good i think it would be kind of broken if but it sounds like she can repeatedly bring out the short bow and the um you know the hammer guy uh the hammer guy let me see one two yeah so they each have hp bars oh and this is the shield that they were talking about very very good so I, I can understand why some people were saying that she might serve as a tank as well simply because with so many summons she's also providing additional HP bars to distract the enemies from the tank so that's going to be very good I mean when we think about the power level of um, Mr. Carlisle with Cessia summon as well as Damien with the chariot I think this is going to be very valuable um, yeah, summons are definitely very powerful in this game. And not to mention applying a shield to them. That That's really good. Yeah, so very nice. I love to see it. In terms of teams that I would consider building her for, well, I mean, definitely you want her with Damien, uh, maybe Haywin for extra heals as well as damage mitigation, if you would like. From the damage dealing side, I mean, if she's a mage, that's perfect because then you basically have Aaron, you got Florabelle, you got Arden. You you can keep your Carolina on. Maybe you can bring her too. Um, at the start of battle, Florabelle summons a spear wielding bulb spray to assist her when casting her ultimate. Summons a mighty, yeah, hammer wielding. Uh, bulb sprite yeah and then summons a short bow with secondary skills so the summons are not random yeah exactly zero exactly it's not random most likely going to be so here's the interesting part right if she's a mage she will have perfect synergy with Aaron if she's not a mage then that's where Rainier's value goes up because Rainier is a universal support um, and you can consider Brutus, so you could do like a Mauler Wilder comp, but I'm really hoping it's not like that. I really hope not, because it'd be nice to have just a full Wilder team, get that full faction bonus. It's going to be really powerful. Yeah, if it's if she's going to be magic, then I think Aaron teams are really going to explode uh, in popularity. I mean, they already have. They've basically taken over Champions League. Rainier at Mythic Plus keep working at it guys Rainier will eventually be supreme plus yeah so anyways I don't want this video to be too long but yeah I'm thinking like you could do um, I still think you need okay so I still think a uh, wilder greatborn team is the best if you went Thorin Damien uh, Aaron Florbell and Arden, that's really powerful. You basically have three mages, you have a powerful healer, and there's going to be summons all over the place. There will be like, you know, two to three different summons from Florabelle, and then you got the chariot that's reviving. It's going to be a very resilient team, and that's where you put like extra investment on your Thorin and Aaron, since, <clears throat> excuse me, since they're going to be the ones who are basically. Once they die, you know, obviously it, it impacts the survival of the rest of the team. Um, yeah, now I don't know if it's a good idea to not have a tank. I know you'll have an extra summon right from the start, but it's going to take some time to build up the ultimate for the hammer, and I don't know how quickly you can get the second skill off. Yeah, but it's very cool. I mean, you basically got like a rogue, a and a marksman and a warrior all in one character and if she's a mage then it's like four four different classes in one that's that's quite amazing all right anyways guys so that's it for my floor bell analysis youtube please comment in the comment section below what you think about this character um, i do live stream most days on twitch twitch.tv forward slash turtle lags and uh, yes, I will see you in the next video. Chat is saying bye. We will see you. Bye-bye. Join us on Twitch. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. We're going to do Scarlita summons next. So, yeah.